So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Now for the build today, we're going to be using my Arc Warlock build with Sanguine Alchemy and Cold Heart. The auto rifle is here for stunning barrier champions. Cold Heart is here because of its heavy damage and build synergy, and the fact that it stuns Overload Champions, and the Machine Gun is here again because of the heavy build synergy, and it does good boss damage and shreds through champions. Now this is one of the best builds this season, I'm not going to go into full depth here, but I highly recommend watching the build video so you fully understand everything that's going on. Trust me, you will not regret it. This build is quite potent, and it's actually my favorite right now. With the build out of the way, let's hop right into the video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you enter this lost sector is there's going to be a ton of ads. We are just going to clear them out. First thing we're going to do is get a nade kill. That is going to make us amplified part of the build, and that's going to give us that 25% damage resistance because this build is amazing. <laughs> and yeah, we're just going to clear this room out, and then what's going to happen from there is a barrier champion is going to spawn in. We'll take care of him and then we can proceed. Now keep in mind guys, you're going to want to clear this room out as much as possible because if you don't, then obviously you can see right now that he's going to make a bunch of adds immune. The more adds you kill, the less adds you'll have to deal with when the barrier spawns. Stun him with our little auto rifle there and as you see, we're absolutely melting this boss with the build and we are 20 levels under power. So, yeah, we're just making quick work of him. Now that the barrier's down, we have these two adds blinded because of the build. We're just going to kill them, and then we can proceed into the next room. Now, the first thing you're going to see is there's going to be two drags standing right there to the left, and there's going to be some adds in the back here. Very easy stuff, guys. We're just going to absolutely fry them. And then when you enter this room... Oh, take care of him. When you enter this room, there's going to be some adds on the bottom there. All of them are just so easy, guys. Now, if you are running this on... Hunter or Titan, just go on my channel and you'll see a playlist of called titled Zen's Builds. I have a recent build within the last week. I have one for Titan and one for Hunter. I recommend Oathkeeper build for Hunter and the Second Chance build for Titan. You'll find them really easily. But yeah, right now what we're doing is we're trying to clear out as many ads as possible. Same thing here. There's going to be a Servitor. We're going to take care of this guy. Absolutely fry him because he is also annoying. He also makes ads immune, uh, but it's not too bad at all. And again, this is going to be the same thing here. We're going to clear out this room as much as possible until a barrier champion spawns. Now what I like to do is clear out what I can here. There are two snipers in the back. You saw me take care of them before. And then I rotate to this right side. Kill these guys in the back. Because if you let these guys in the back live, it's the same thing, guys. The servitor champion is going to use them as bait, as protection. It's going to make them immune. So I definitely like to take care of these right side guys. And I like to grab this position because it just lets you take care of these left side guys that you couldn't kill from where we were previously standing and it additionally gives you a nice angle on the barrier champion. Now I can't stress enough how good this arc build, this arc warlock build is this season guys. I mean, you just see, I mean, all you see is me doing damage, but what you don't see is what's going on behind the scenes. We have the 25% damage resistance from being amplified, we're getting a 17% damage bonus, and we're sitting in a healing rift, and that 17% damage bonus is infinite, our rifts are infinite. You see, my rift just ended and I have another one charged. So yeah guys, we're taking care of this barrier champion. Uh, we just popped our super for it, because it doesn't matter too much. We're going to have our super up for the boss when it's time for him. So I figured it was a good time to do it. We rotate it on this left side. This gives us a really nice angle on the boss. And then we could just absolutely fry him. Now, you're not going to want to jump left side until all the ads are dead, obviously, or you are going to get melted. Now, coming in this next room, there's going to be two shotgun uh, fallen enemies, marauders, apparently they're called. And you're as long as you're aware of them, they're not going to bother you too much. Then the overload is going to run into the room. But we have our cold heart, trace rifle, our auto, our overload this season. So we are just absolutely destroying him i mean you'll see this damage in a second here we go like look at i mean we switched to machine gun but it's the same thing man you see how fast he just falls over we also have our turrets helping us out permanently now the thing about this guy is you're going to want to strafe left and right and i'm playing long range because i have cover but you can kill them close range without them effectively doing any damage to you. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm just running for more ammo, but I really want to explain that. If you are within mid range, I would say just entering shotgun range, guys. If you are strafing left and right, 
the Overload Champions can't actually do anything. That specific type of Overload Champion with the Arc Guns, they can't do any damage to you. Like, the projectiles would just run right past you. Or you could just do exactly what I just did. Now, I like to shoot those things on the ground because they obviously slow you down and they're super annoying. There we go, proc art amplified. Now, there's going to be a bunch of ads in this room, but these guys are pushovers, like, to be honest. I'm just tossing my rift down because I am taking some damage, but, you know, if I just played a little bit slower, I would not be taking any damage at all. Seriously. Now, we're just going to clear these guys out, and then we can proceed into the next room, which is the boss room. Now, when you stand right here, there's going to be a couple ads that run past you. I like to clear them out because then the overload is going to come, and we don't want to deal with him while we are fighting a bunch of other ads. Now the thing about this Overload Champion is if you don't get him stun locked fast enough, he will run to the back of the room and it'll really just mess up the pacing of the Lost Sector. It's super annoying to fight him when he isn't standing here. So definitely try to stun him as fast as possible because when you stun Overload Champions, they kind of just stand in place after they become unstunned, allowing you to restun them. They become stun locked. It's really nice. And from that point, after we deal with the Overload Champion, we're just going to clear out the room and then the boss will actually spawn. Now I like to clear right side first, and typically things will just run to where you are. Now there are some things left side, but they will make their way to right side quickly. So yeah guys, just plop our rift down and just deal with these adds, and then the boss will actually spawn. After you take care of that first wave of adds, you'll see there's going to be more adds that spawn, mainly shanks, a couple fallen enemies, they are going to stand in the back. That is where the boss is going to be after we kill them. There is this heavy shank, we're not really worried about these guys at all, you're going to want to take care of the snipers first, but they're not really doing too much damage, especially if you stand where I'm standing right now, on this right side. Now we're jumping back a little bit, because we're a little worried about that boss doing some heavy damage to us, on top of the other adds. So from this point, we're just going to fry the boss as much as possible. Now keep in mind, you're going to want to keep some machine gun ammo handy, because after the boss reaches a certain damage threshold, well first of all, they rotate around. Second of all, they also spawn an anti-barrier champion, and you're going to want some machine gun ammo for that, because you're going to want to fry that as fast as possible, because the thing about anti-barriers is, if you haven't noticed, they like to make things immune, which is super annoying. So, definitely going to want to save some heavy for that anti-barrier when he does spawn. And there is a servitor that also spawns, going to want to take care of him, because the thing about these guys is not only do they make adds immune, but they can make the boss immune, so you're definitely not going to want to have to deal with that. So yeah guys, we're just going to slowly chip down this boss, he will teleport around the room, lots of rotations from him, looks like an ad actually spawned behind us, you're going to want to be careful of that guys, there's going to be constant ads spawning when the boss rotates around, but it's no problem at all, as the boss rotates we'll just do damage to him, it's the same thing, we'll just chip him down slowly, this is really really easy guys, again we are doing this 20 levels under power. Now, if you're doing this at 1830, you're going to do this in half the time that we do it. I just like to be at this power level to ensure that anyone watching my guides has access to the tips that I'm doing. Like, it, it'll actually help you out, you know what I mean? Now, the anti-barrier has spawned. Now, what I like to do is, you know, do the boss damage if the boss is free. Kill adds if they are not attracted to the boss or attracted to the anti-barrier. And, yeah, see what I just did right there? I just wasted my super because the anti-barrier was up while the boss, you know, I tried to fry the boss with my super, but the anti-barrier was still alive, so obviously that is not what you want to do, but it's pretty simple, guys. Just going to take care of the barrier first, and then we can deal with the boss. Stun him, and then we are beaming him with our cold heart. Now, I like to kill the adds to the side, because again, they're giving that barrier some protection. We're going to want to kill the adds as soon as we stun the barrier, and then some exploder shanks are going to spawn. You don't want to die to those guys. Make sure you're paying attention, and yeah, pretty simple stuff. Just take care of the barrier, take care of the shanks, keep rotating as things start bombarding you. We are getting super low here. I am kind of worried at this point in time, but we have plenty of cover. Gonna stun this barrier, make sure he can't heal, plop down our rift, and now we're good. Switch back to the trace rifle. So close to killing the barrier. Can we do it? Can we do it? And that does it. So now the boss is so low, we'll just take care of him in the final steps, and that's gonna be it. And just like that, the boss is dead. Now we can just run up and grab the chest, guys. Pretty easy stuff today, but it is not one of the fastest lost sectors because it is on the moon, unfortunately. And that's gonna be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post lost sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.